this video we are going to study the anatomy of the parotid gland the parotid gland is the largest salivary gland in our face and it lies on the lateral side of the face just below the opening of the ex uh, of the ear or the external caustic meatus so the parotid gland partly covers the ramus of the mandible also the part of the mastoid process and the apex of the parotid gland lies somewhere over here covering the part of neck the parotid gland is roughly the shape of a three-sided pyramid. Usually a pyramid has four sides like this. One side is this anterior side. The other side is over here. One is the base and two sides are on the opposite side which you cannot see in a three-dimensional image. But the parotid gland is a three-sided pyramid and it is inverted. That means the base will be on the superior aspect and the apex will be on the inferior aspect. So this is the base of the parotid gland or of the three sided pyramid. This is the apex and these are the two sides. One, two and the third side is on the back which is which cannot be seen in a three dimensional image. This orange structure represents the parotid gland. I have made this out of play doh and to see this uh, borders and surfaces I will remove this from the skull. Just imagine this is the parotid gland of the left side. So if we remove it, you can see that this surface is the lateral surface of the parotid gland or the superficial surface which lies just below the, just deep to the skin and fascia. If this is the left side sided parotid gland, this will be the anterior border. This will be the posterior border. Anterior border, posterior border. Then the surface between the anterior and posterior border is the superficial surface which lies on the outer aspect, on the lateral aspect. If we move it and see the medial side, this is the medial border of the parotid gland which encloses due to this border, there are two more surfaces are formed on the medial aspect. One between the medial border and the posterior border, this surface is the posteromedial surface. And one surface is between the medial border and anterior border. This is the anteromedial surface. And the superior surface is the base of the parotid gland. So the parotid gland has three borders. Anterior border, this one, a posterior border and a medial border. It has four surfaces. A lateral surface or the superficial surface which lies between the anterior and the posterior borders. Then the posteromedial surface which lies between the medial border and the posterior border and the anteromedial surface which lies between the anterior and the medial borders and a superior surface or the base of the parotid gland. Now this anteromedial surface, the one between the anterior and medial borders, this surface is indented by the posterior border of the ramus of mandible. So if we attach this parotid gland to the ramus, posterior surface of the ramus of the mandible and see it from the lower side, you can see that the posteromedial surface is indented by the posterior border of the ramus of the mandible. To understand the relations of the parotid gland, I have placed this parotid made out of Play-Doh back into the skull and I have inverted the skull. Look at this. This is the anterior part of the skull and if I invert it, you can see the inferior part of the mandible and the skull. Let's talk about some features which we can see on the base of the skull. This is the mastoid process, the structure, look from the side. This is the mastoid process which lies just behind the parotid gland and it is partly covered by the parotid gland. Then this small structure here is the styloid process, look closely. This structure is called the styloid process which lies anteromedial to the mastoid process. This is the base of the mandible and this part was the posterior border which is now obscured by the parotid gland. This border is obscured by the parotid gland. This attachment, the muscle here, is the masseter muscle which gets its attachment to the ramus of the mandible, outer surface of the ramus of the mandible and to the lower part of the zygomatic arch. This is the medial pterygoid muscle. 
on the inner surface is the uh, sorry this is the masseter muscle on the inner surface of the uh, mandible is the medial pterygoid which is the mirror image of the masseter it gets its attachment to the inner surface of the ramus of mandible and its upper attachment or the superior attachment is to the lateral pterygoid plate now this structure is the pterygoid process this whole structure is the pterygoid process which has two plates a medial plate and a lateral plate so this medial pterygoid muscle gets its attachment to the medial surface of the lateral pterygoid plate you can see here that it is attached to the medial surface of the lateral pterygoid plate now to uh, better understand the relations i will make a diagram i have made a diagram and we will compare this diagram to the base of the skull which we are already seeing now consider that i make a transverse section through the skull through this uh, part of the skull in which i will cut the pterygoids the ramus of the mandible the parotid gland and the mastoid process look at this diagram now in this diagram this structure is the mastoid process which in the skull you can see over here this is the mastoid process this small structure here is the styloid process which in the skull you can see over here this is the styloid process this structure is the foramen magnum which is over here this black portion is the cut end of the cut part of the ramus of the mandible so if we cut the ramus of the mandible from here you will see this cut portion over here on the outer aspect of this is the attachment of the masseter muscle which is over here this muscle and on the inner aspect or the medial surface of the ramus of mandible is the attachment of the medial pterygoid muscle which in this original skull you can see over here and between all these structures is this orange colored parotid gland which i have drawn here this is the parotid gland now appreciate the borders of the parotid gland which you can see in this diagram and also on the original uh, this plato made parotid gland this is the anterior border this outer border now as i am telling you all these just keep in your mind that i have uh, inverted the skull the skull is upside down so the parotid is also upside down this part is the apex and this is the base this base is superior and the apex lies inferiorly so uh, while studying just keep this in mind that i have inverted the skull now this is the anterior border and this is the posterior border so the cut anterior border in this diagram will be this part this is the anterior border of the parotid which here is this border this is the posterior border which is partly covering the mastoid process and this is the posterior border partly covering the mastoid process this posterior border and this is the medial border this medial border reaches uh, the styloid process so this structure is the medial border this one and it is lying near and anterior to the styloid process <clears throat> now this surface is the lateral or the superficial surface which in this parotid you can see over here this is the superficial surface lying between the anterior and posterior borders this is the anterior border this is the posterior border in between the two is the superficial or the lateral surface then this is the medial border so the uh, surface between the anterior and medial borders will be the anteromedial surface which is indented by the posterior border of the ramus of mandible so this is the medial border this is the anterior border and this surface this surface which is obscured this is the anteromedial surface and it is indented by the posterior border of the ramus of mandible this is the anteromedial surface this surface on the diagram is the posteromedial surface which starts from the posterior border and goes up till the medial border so in this parotid this is the medial border and this is the posterior border so this surface which you can see very clearly is the posteromedial surface